Hey guys, just making a quick video on how to get The Sims 4 Get to Work with all stuff packs included quick and easy. I'm assuming you have and know how to use U-Torn and Unarchiver, and if not, I strongly advise for you to learn that before even watching this video. Everything that you need as far as downloads is down in the description box, and it's all in order, so when I pull up a new window, just refer down to the description. So let's go ahead and begin. Um... <laughs> on the sims 4 download link just download the sims 4 and get to work um, shout out to games for the world they're awesome when it comes to games I have almost everything um, just download that also you want to download the ultimate fix that I left in the description as well um, just click torrent and then uh, while those are downloading, go ahead and download Wineskin. I'll just click that. Once that's downloaded, you'll have something that looks like this. The Wineskin Winery will be in your downloads. Um, it'll look like this. Nothing will be here when you get it. So what you would do is just press that plus button. And I'll have a drop down list of a whole bunch of engines you can download. I suggest downloading the latest one. I already have that so I won't do that. And then um, after that's downloaded you'll create a new blank wrapper. You'll name that The Sims 4, TS4, or whatever you want. Um, and then press OK. I uh, won't do that either. So I already have an example for this video but it's going to take a little bit. And then once your new blank wrapper is created it'll look a little something like this is what I'm using for the example in this part. And then um, once you have The Sims 4 and The Sims 4 Get to Work and the, the um, Ultimate Fix, just um, open them how you usually would in uTorrent. You'll get your little RAR files. Click those. You'll unarchive it to the desktop or wherever you choose to um, open it up to. And... Uh, once you down, get The Sims 4, sorry, opened up and everything, you'll have, um, just install software, choose Setup Executable, and then wherever you opened up your Sims 4, um, you'll just click this setup dot, setup dot exe. I'll just choose it. It's going to take a little bit. And if, for those of you who don't know what Wineskin is, it's basically a Windows emulator. Um, it's great for using when you don't have, or when you want to play a game that's strictly Windows. Um, it'll bring you to the setup wizard. You just press next, blah, blah, blah. Next, 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 and then, yeah, I'm not going to do that because I already did that. So, yeah, blah, blah, next, 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 next. Oops. Huh? Yeah. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. I know. You're not going to get any of those. I'm just kind of trying to speed through that, so... Sorry. Okay, anyways, once you're done with that setup, it's going to take a little bit. Um, you'll basically be all set. Um, so, just to make things clear, like um, what you would normally do. Ooh, sorry is drag the Sims 4 actually. Oh. You'd look for it here, so like the Sims 4 in your finder. Once you find it, you would drag it to your desktop. 
Yeah. And then uh, what you would normally do is press control. Yeah. Control click. Show package contents. So since I didn't install it in this, I'm not. I'm going to be using my actual Sims 4 applet because this is for, just for example just to show you what you would do once you have the Sims 4 installed so control click show package contents it'll have something called drive C click on that program files usually it would say electronic arts and then Sims 4 but um the ultimate fix will explain why I have it like this. So, Electronic Arts, Sims 4 folder. Okay, now here comes the fun part. So, when you open, when you have Get to Work and the ultimate fix all opened up, basically what you're going to do is just. I, Everything that's in the get to work folder, all the contents, drag them over to here. So, so just click, drag, click, drag everything in here, installer, and installer goes in installer, DLC goes into DLC, blah blah blah. You're gonna always drag drag it over. Do not I repeat, do not just drag the folder in there and try to replace it because you're going to replace important files and the game's not going to work. Just You have to single-handedly just drag and drop every single one. Very, very important that you do that rather than the whole folder. And then, yeah, just do that with all the get-to-work stuff. And then after you're done with that, you're just going to open up the ultimate fix. Basically, do the same thing. Um, yeah, just basically do the same thing. And then the installation guide will say something like, um, basically, just get rid of the Electronic Arts folder and then or drag your Sims 4 over to Program Files and then the electronic arts file will be completely non-existent. You can just delete that after you don't drag. The ah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's early. After you drag the the Sims 4 file over to program files, so cut out the little middleman electronic arts file there. Anyway, there goes that. After you're done dragging and dropping a whole bunch of stuff. What you'll then do is download Origin. Important step as well, because if you don't do that, you're going to get this little error that says Origin, not startup, something blah, 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 like that. Um, instead of the Mac one, you're going to download the PC one, which will automatic, the link will automatically direct you to there. Download the PC one. Once you get that, you'll get something that looks like this in your downloads. Um, all you're going to do is just basically create another wineskin wrapper, just like you did with your Sims 4 one. And then it, and then um, install software, choose setup executable, and then you'll click the um, origin setup. What it'll basically do is just, you know, drag you through the origin setup and, um, some then you'll get a message somewhere in the installation process that says something went wrong during installation. Please reinstall Origin. Dell. That's that's perfect. That's great that you got that message. After you get that, just basically you're done. Um, try to run the uh, or just run The Sims 4, and your game should be all set. I'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. Just to prove to you guys that it works. Yeah.
you'll get something like this every single time. Probably not the first time, because it didn't happen the first time with me, but every time afterwards I got this. Don't worry about it. I turned the sound off so it doesn't make any noise like that. Yeah, you'll get this message again. That's quite alright. Yeah, trust me, this stupid window goes away. It's just not doing this in this video, and it's annoying. Yep, there you go. There goes that, and don't worry, this crap goes away. It's just, right now, it's, I'll probably have to rerun it, but, yeah. There you go, Sims 4. Hope you guys enjoyed my video, and thanks for watching.